Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlene. Thank you so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this date night look right here. I am going to be playing with the Artist Couture uh, Midnight Maven palette as well as the Conceited Highlight. Um, it is amazing. It just made me so happy. I can't wait to see what you guys think about it when I'm applying it on. So if you want to see how to achieve this date night, girls night out, just a night uh, makeup look, stay tuned. And guys, if you have not joined the family yet, I don't even know what you're waiting on because like this family is the bomb. Like we positive out here. So if you haven't joined the family, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell because that bell would notify you when I post a video so you'll be right on time to watch these videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, I already obviously did all the necessary steps to do my eyebrows and moisturize my face. So at first I'm going to start off with my Tarte Quench Primer. So tonight's look is going to be something like, I want it to be like, my makeup to be like really hydrating. So I'm going to use completely all like really hydrating products. So I'm going to start off with the Quench Primer and I am just going to quench my whole face. So I'm going to use my Fenty Hydrating, my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I'm not sure what shade it is, but it's the brown shade. So I'm going to use my sponge. So next I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade 535. This concealer is very rich, very thick, and it's perfect for a night out look because the way it's rich and thick, I get like really good coverage off of it. And it doesn't give like, I feel like you won't have any flashbacks with this, so this is why I'm using this. And I think this concealer goes really well with this foundation. Like they are about the same colors, you know what I mean? Like they have the same tint shades, so I love it. So while the concealer is resting and sitting, while it's setting, I'm gonna use my contour stick. So I'll just start contouring my cheeks always. So tonight's gonna be a full beat because again, it's a date night look. Uh, we wanna make sure that the face is beat to the max and also hydrating at the same time. So now we're gonna blend in the concealer. I think I'm gonna use my my same sponge because it's, it holds it better. This beauty blender is not wet enough. Yeah, I don't really think I like the beauty blender anymore. I am gonna get me another sponge. I got this from Marshalls and it's so soft and holds water better and it just feels really good. The beauty blender, I just don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling it. Especially since I have dry skin, I just don't think it works well. So now I'm gonna take a little bit. Oh, guys, I forgot how good this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is. Ooh, I've been sleeping on it. I don't know, I've been switching it up, but y'all, I totally forgot how amazing I was in love with this concealer. It's my life. So I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight concealer just on the inside. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade um, 30 Cafe. Then I'm gonna immediately blend it in. And then I'm gonna go in with my uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Like right below my contour line. Oof, I'm feeling really good about makeup today. And just kind of like going around everywhere you feel like just needs to set. It's like taking the powder and lightly pressing it all over your face and everywhere that the concealer pretty much sat. And then since we are not contouring the nose anymore, that is something that we are done doing. I'm going to contour bake. I'll let this and I'll let this sit for a little bit and then take this off. And then whisk this away. I'm taking my Morphe M105 brush and just like whisking it away. And 
there's it. And then now I'm just gonna take the leftover and I'm just gonna you know, make sure everything is set. Then I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer so far. Fenty Beauty bronzer, this is in the shade Mocha Mami. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe M105 brush, even though I used it to whisk off the pink powder, it's still very clean. And I'm just gonna use it to bronze my face. This is such a good bronzer because it's so dark and it's like, and it's just, it's been doing me greatness nowadays. Like I could see it bronzing my face, which I love. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This powder is really great because it is not so cakey. It's like a good bake mineralized powder and I feel like it gives you that it sets everything together and it also gives you that like mineralized light. It sets your face without looking like you have powder on your face. That's why I love it. I actually need to get another one, but so that's what we're gonna use. And we're just gonna literally just do the whole face. So just powder dip. And try to fix the harsh lines. So I see like I have like, I need to blend this in a little bit more. So I just kind of like dab it in. Be careful not to put too, um, not to go under your concealer because I personally like the highlighted concealer look. So I try not to put too much powder on there. So we're just gonna use this for the harsh lines. Mainly my forehead because the forehead's the hardest part for me personally to blend. So next I'm gonna use my NARS Exhibit A blush and this is in the shade Exhibit A. And then I'm gonna use my Real Techniques blush brush. I think that's all I need. So now I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I'm just gonna spray my whole face so that I can set everything together and then I can start off with my eyeshadow. I'm using my sponge, I'm just gonna lightly press on my face. Okay, so I did one eye. As y'all know, that's how I do my thing to figure out what I'm doing. I should have just done both these on camera because this is really easy to achieve. So I am going to be using the Artist Couture Palette. Oh my gosh. I'm late, but you know what? Better late than never. Look at these amazing colors. I am going to play with Lights Out. I am going to play with uh, Vixen. And I'm going to play with Nightcap. This is something that I, it's necessary to do is to take the eyeshadow primer if you want this color to pop out because I tried to test this out without eyeshadow primer and the colors were not popping out like they were like the way you want it to be so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer then I'm gonna take my Sedona lace black Sedona lace brush and then I'm gonna take Vixen Use this color right here and I'm just gonna apply it as a transition color. And this is where you can see the blood flowing more. So when you apply it right there, the pink comes out more than if I apply it down here. So I just focus on that area so we can get this pink going on outside. So it's like a natural pink color. You don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna take my smudge brush. I am just gonna use an Anastasia brush. And I'm gonna take the color Nightcap, which is this color right here. And I want to apply it on the outer corner of my eye. I'm just going to smudge it in there. Here. Guys, don't mind my nails. I have one thumb that still has color on it. I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. I haven't had time. Then I'm going to take my finger because I can't seem to find a brush that's able to grab lights out. That's lights out right there. And I'm just going to apply it right on the base of the eye. Right below my crease line. And then to get that really in this corner of my eye, I'm just gonna take my Morphe M213 brush and then I'm just gonna dip lights out again and I'm just gonna add it in there. Making sure that I'm getting every single corner. For the bottom, I'm gonna take um, just a typical, just a regular brush, like a smudge brush. I'm using this because I already have some powder on it and I don't want to waste it. And I'm just going to like smudge the bottom of my waterline. And I'm going to use Nightcap to smudge the bottom of my waterline. 
And then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Ultimate Eye Liner. This is not black, but it's close to black. I wish I got black. I'm just gonna draw my waterline. If anybody has any good suggestions with like some good eyeliner for waterline, please let me know. I am so open. And then one last step, I am going to take again my Morphe M213 brush and I'm going to take Artist Couture the powder highlight and this is in the shade this is conceited so this is diamond glow powder and this is a highlight <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a little bit that's on the cap and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner of my eye add that extra sparkle the artist couture palette retail for $29 which I mean for these colors you cannot beat that you know like this is like you have everything you need right here this is perfect I can travel with this and uh, the <clears throat> artist couture highlight this conceited one retail for I think $21 or $24 but yeah 21 yeah no $24 I think it was $24 but either way you still can beat that so I'm about to use that for my eyes so I will get this eyelash going on and I'll be right back all right so I <laughs> I put in the other highlight, I mean the other eyelash and decided to get ready. Um, so a couple more steps before I'm done. So this eyes, the eyes are all done. Everything is good. So now I am just going to just, you know, finish up the lips and highlight. So I'm really excited to use this Artist Couture highlight. So I'm going to use my fan brush and uh, I'm going to apply it on. Woo! Chineke. Look at that. That was fire. This is literally what I want. It has that wet look. Y'all see that? Y'all see that wet look? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, my favorite sold. Yo, like this is like that wet look though. Artist Couture, you did it. Mac Daddy, you did it. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more and I'll put it like on the bridge of my nose. And a little bit on my eyebrows. To give me that eyebrow lift, face lift. Oh. I think I'm gonna spray my face using the Urban Decay setting spray. While this is setting, I am going to use two things for my lips. We're gonna do nude lips because it's a lot going on in the eyes. So I'm gonna use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this pink lipstick from Lancome. So I'm gonna start with MAC Chestnut lip liner I'm going to use a lip cream so I'm going to take my Lancome lip gloss and this is 202 shade 202 and guys this is so this is the final look I'm very excited I really loved using playing with this artist couture and the artist couture highlight and the palette it was beautiful very beautiful colors I'm so excited to use it it's so small it's really good and like it can fit in like a freaking clutch you can take it with you if you want like if you want to just like touch up your eyes a little bit I think this looks so good I'm so excited highlight the bomb everything looks amazing guys I am so in love thank you so much artist couture for releasing this this is not um, sponsored either this is just me thanking them for having it but thank you so much for watching guys and if you guys have any other questions please don't forget to comment below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thanks guys for joining again and I will see you guys next time